This video goes out to those who are complaining so heavily about movies in which the roles are sort of reversed as to who is strong, who is smart, and who is weak, and who is stupid. You know, according to our culture. It's not to say that the people who normally fit those demographics actually are those things. It just, in relation to our culture. There are people that were complaining about Mad Max, the new Mad Max. And I'm just like, You've got to be fucking kidding me. Out of all the things that are over the top in that movie, you're going to complain because there are strong female characters in the movie and the guy is, you know, has to sort of cower to, to some of the women in the movie. Are you fucking serious? This is a movie where, the, in the beginning of it, there is a... Uh, there's a scene with water being poured down this mountainside instead of, you know, it, it, water is scarce, so scarce, and these overlords are going to sometimes allow them to have a little bit of water. So they pour it down this mountainside, and people with wicker baskets will come to try to get some of the droplets of water. And the way people are dirty in it goes beyond anything I've ever seen. I mean, this takes this takes the over-the-top nature of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and, I mean, multiply it. It's several magnitudes more over-the-top, right? And when I went to go see it, I wasn't initially expecting that. It took me a little bit to get used to how over the top it was, but it was a very enjoyable movie, as far as I'm concerned. You know, there's a there's a point in the movie where they're they're trying to get away in some vehicle, and there's people that are siphoning gas from a container and spitting it into the engine. Okay, this is a movie that is so unrealistic and so over the top. But all you're going to complain about is because there are strong female characters in it that overpower some of the male characters? What's wrong with you? Can you not see that this is a... This is your ideology becoming more important than anything else? So, then there's people complaining about the new Ghostbusters movie. Oh, it's going to be a flop. Oh, it's so awful. And, and I'm just like, they went out of their way to choose people that are decent comedians. Now, if you're one of these sexist assholes who says that women aren't funny, you know, fuck you. There are plenty of very funny women out there. Our society may not put them in a position where they feel they need to be as funny as what it is with guys. There are some things about relationships and such that make it so sometimes guys feel they have to be funny in order to have a chance. But that doesn't mean that women aren't funny. Give me a fucking break. People that get so upset with them changing the demographics of the roles in some in in a movie uh oh look there, there there might be a black spider-man oh no an asian captain america a black captain america oh no how many of you seen the movie Time Bandits. Time Bandits is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's fucking fantastic. That movie 
does some of the same type of thing. The kid in the movie is the smartest one in the movie. Throughout! The adults act kind of stupid. They fit a lot of stereotypes of people that do stupid things. The... Pardon me for not using the politically correct term. The midgets in the movie are just all about greed. You know, the kid is the one with the intelligence. The kid is the one with what people would consider common sense. That's a strange word, that's a strange phrase to begin with, common sense. Because there's often nothing common about it. But, anyway, um, you know, there, there are tons of movies where we reverse these roles. Tons of movies in the past. I don't see people complaining about those, but because it's a new movie, oh no! I think it's so stupid. That's all I gotta say in this video.